All right, guys, these bass are in full pre-spawn mode, which means they're getting fat, but they're also getting very lazy. So we're gonna slow things down a little bit. We're gonna throw a wacky rig and uh, I'll show you how I set that up. I use a smaller hook than most bass fishermen use when they throw a wacky rig. I like to go with this two-eyed hook here. It's also weedless, so you just pop this thing down here and it becomes a weedless rig. And when you rig this thing up, a lot of people use the little wacky rig rings and get the tool and all that stuff. You don't need it. All you need to do is take the hook, take the middle of your Senko, whatever plastic you're using, go right through the middle, you're rigged. You will not lose this. You know, if a bass bites it, you're gonna catch the bass. He might shred it, but it's just as good as using those tools and the, and the little O-rings that people use. You're all good to go, just like this. Always go weightless. You're gonna take your time, let it hit the bottom, and you're gonna work it back to you almost like a jig. A lot of folks like to leave it set still. I don't like to do that either. I like to bounce it back on the bottom. And you'll see that once we get air on the river, hopefully have some success with it. We will see how it goes. See you on the river, guys. All right, let's stop this wacky rig over here along these rocks try not to get stuck so when you're fishing the wacky rig a lot of people will just let it set so i think the key is definitely let it hit the bottom but then start <coughs> working it a little bit like a jig all the way back to the boat and you'll see that's usually when you're going to get your bites um, here in a minute we'll cast up along the bank after we start them up a little bit with this jigging technique and we're definitely gonna get hit sooner or later along that bank. Um, so just let's keep working it. All right, nothing that time. We're gonna throw it up on this bank right now. And uh, I think we'll be able to get a bite. There we go. There we go. On the wacky rig. Pretty good bass, guys. Oh, come up, come up. Oh, gosh. It's a very small hook, guys. Uh, come on, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Solid three plus. We'll take it. Yes, sir. Let's get you on the hook. Oops. Don't want to lose my rod in the process. It's going to be tough. It's going to be close. Try not to get hooked in the process here. Oh yeah. Gosh, he was barely hooked, y'all. I mean, barely hooked. Yeah, he might be four. He might be four. Let's get a weight on him. All right, let's see if we can get a weight on this guy. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, you're feisty. He's over three, I can tell you that right now. Just don't know how much. Three point two. Definitely a good one. All right. All right. Now for the most important part, we got to get this bad boy back in the water. Thank you for biting, biting the old wacky rig. Let's make sure you're good and good before I let you go here. goes yes sir downstream we go woohoo all right we're gonna toss right back in that same spot see if there might be another one hiding out there 
that one was barely hooked. That's the only problem with these small wacky rig hooks is they can pop out of there pretty quick. Thankfully we had him hooked right on top of the lip and as long as I had that line tight, he wasn't going anywhere. He was super long. He just wasn't super fat. I thought maybe he'd be hitting four, but 3.2 on the scales and definitely a pretty, pretty fish. We'll take him any day of the week. start digging it like we did before so I got that last bite There we go. Come on, come on, take it, take it. Oh, I set the hook too early. Let's see if he'll come back. Let's see if he'll come back, guys. Yep, yep, he's coming back. I got him. I knew I had one. Not as big as the last one, but hey, we'll take you, we'll take you, we'll take you, we'll take you. Sorry, buddy, sorry, buddy. Took my sink go too. That's all right. You earned it. Nice uh, little guy. Pounder. All right. See you later, bud. back in that same spot. That was funny. He bit it. Thought maybe he'd come back and he did. Let's see if there's another bigger one down here in this same spot. Alright again, let it hit the bottom and when you're working it back, make sure it stays on the bottom. You want to fill that bottom the entire time. Bite. Oh my god. Oh, please come back. Holy cow, that was a good bite. He's not coming back. Oh. All right, he might have followed that down through the current there, so I'm gonna try that again. That was a good bite. That was another three pounder at least. A bit right here at the boat, so that's good news. I haven't really spooked him off by being this close to the bank. I'm gonna stay right here and just keep fishing. Should have waited a little bit longer and I had that one. I'm just hoping maybe he didn't get hooked and maybe he'll come back. up a little bit further with it let it sink all the way down all right let's work this back real slow I feel like we can get another bite 
Yep. 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 I got him. I got him. That was a better one. Got to keep that line tight though. Oh, need a net. Need a net. Oh Lord, come back. Come back, buddy. That's another one. Another good one. Oh man, his lip has been ripped. I did not do that. Somebody else did that. Poor guy. Poor guy. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he's wrapped up on my arm. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a three. He's over three. Don't know by how much. Let's get the scale out. We'll give him a dip while we do that. All right, let's get him on the scale real quick. He's fat. All right, I'm guessing about the same as the last one. Probably about a three, two, maybe. Let's see what we can do. Ah, 214. 214, guys. He's skinny. Alright. Alright, time to get you back in. 